What is up, everybody? It is May 15th, 2019, and welcome to a very special episode of Flannel Fox Daily News. I did my first Nintendo Direct recap today. Yeah, pretty excited about it. Just watched the Nintendo Direct and took a ton of notes, so that is going to be today's episode. We're gonna go through all the all the information. Good Joe Pesci goodness. It is a lot of information that they covered all about Super Mario Maker 2. So Let's just let's just get started right away. Oh my gosh, if you just watched it and are just dying to talk about it more, hopefully this scratches that itch. So first they go into the very basics of Super Mario Maker, kind of as a whole, like yes, two, but they're just, for people that are completely unfamiliar with the series, they're going through, hey, you can build your own levels of Mario. This is what you can do. You can pop a bunch of enemies on top of each other. Yeah, it's great, but as you're watching a daily video game news show, you're probably a huge nerd like me, and we already know all that stuff. So I wasn't too pumped when I saw that. I was like, yeah, you know, let's let's get to the new stuff. They did, when they're describing um, typical things that you can do in Super Mario Maker, and two specifically, because this is two, when they're describing how you can enlarge enemies when you're creating them, they're like, and you can biggin enemies, which is a cutesy little Nintendo word they created. I, I don't think that's a real one I could check. I mean, yeah, that's a real word. That's ridiculous. Just checked MiriamWebster.com. So in my face, Nintendo used a word that they did make up, so it's not that cute. Anyway, jump into some of the new features. So first off, we already knew about this one. Great addition to level creation are the slopes that you can add. So Mario can do that infamous butt slide. Uh, you can add the angry sun, the little pissed off sun in the corner who attacks Mario during the game because he's so angry. I, I don't... That's what they should have addressed is why the sun is angry, but I don't know. The moving snake block, so Mario will be standing and have to jump on the block that's moving through the level that you can create your own path, which is super dope. Um, on and off switches, which you can do a bunch of stuff. They showed red blocks and blue bo blocks, and when you hit the on and off switch, they were disappearing and appearing and showed really cool stuff with them. Um, you can also use it to change moving platform paths or conveyor belt direction, which is rad. Seesaws for moving platforms. I don't think I need to describe what a seesaw is, but... Let me know in the comments if I do, and I will for you. Um, the swinging claws that you got to work up momentum and jump. Um, basically just giving you a shit ton of new options. Um, oh, also something for the worst thing in the world, which are water levels in Super Mario games. They are like the absolute... I hate water levels in any game. Water levels, unless you're playing Echo the Dolphin, water levels are obnoxious, but... In Super Mario Maker 2, you can make your water levels at any level you want, animate them, rising and lowering throughout the level at different speeds. I guess if you're into them, obviously I'm not. I'm, su I'm super not. I never, never want to play water levels. But if you're into them, this is great for you. You also can make the water lava, which I am into that, and that's super dope, because you don't have to swim through it. You just die if you land on it, so you can make some super hard levels. It has custom level cameras, and they had a very good example, obviously it's Nintendo, of the end levels where you're on like the bomb boats, where all the bombs are shooting this way, and the cameras sort of ping-ponging around the levels. So you can just do whatever you choose to. Again, just giving you more and more creative features. Uh, there's a bunch more stuff here. You can stop the level scrolling if you do a full block of perpendicular blocks to the level scroll direction. So if it's scrolling this way and you do a full block ceiling, ceiling to floor, not floor to ceiling, um, then that will stop the level from scrolling. So you can do like secret room, little subset room. So that's pretty rad and rare, very intuitive. Um, then they had a bunch of different items that they're adding, dry bone shells, big coins, they show 30, 50, 10 denominations, twisters, icicles, diagonal conveyor belts, which is really rad, parachutes to make items, uh, fall softly and slowly, red fire breathing Yoshis, which is kind of a fucking nightmare, if I'm being honest, uh, and tons more new sound effects, and then they jumped into some really big new features, obviously this is the Nintendo Switch, so let's push co-op like crazy. I don't know if I'm gonna use any of these co-op things, but let me know in the comments if you will. Co-op level creation. That kind of sounds like a nightmare. I've already, I haven't checked out a lot of the community created levels in Super Mario Maker 1, because I never played it. I didn't have a Wii U and I was gonna get on 3DS, but I never did. I'm definitely gonna get this Super Mario Maker 2, but um, 
a level created by two people at the same time. That sounds, I don't know, we'll see. I know, like, actually, like, if you're creating it just sort of, you know, mentally bouncing ideas off each other, but actually in the same screen at the same time, I'm curious to see how that's going to go. Um, clear conditions, which are, that sounds fucking awesome to me, um, which are level objectives. They give the example, collect 50 coins or kill all the dry bones in the level. And in order to complete the level, you have to complete these little level objectives, which when these level objectives are stacked in super hard levels, I mean, I can't even imagine this kind of stuff that people are gonna come up with. It's gonna, that sounds so cool to me. Story mode, which is awesome. You're sort of like, you're reconstructing the kingdom, not with level building. I thought that they were maybe gonna have some, oh, you have to build this type of level to maybe give it three conditions or something like that to work in the building mechanics. But no, you're beating levels that are already made and they give you coins to unlock new areas, which is cool. I mean, it's levels made by Nintendo with these fantastic tools. So uh, yeah, more levels, sounds great. And they said that there's over 100 courses, so let's do it. Um, new creation themes, desert, snow, forest, sky, with the caveat for all of them that they have a night mode with a happy moon instead of an angry sun. And you hit the moon, and if you hit the angry sun, you lose a life. But if you hit the moon, all the enemies on that screen die. So perfect. And it does all kinds of goofy stuff, turns the snow to ice, so it's way more slippery at night, like real life if you live in a cold climate. Um, you know that. If you live in Arizona, you may not. Does it snow in Arizona? Let me know down there. I don't know. I never Google it. Um, I imagine somewhere. The desert has sandstorms. There's a lot of different stuff that you can do. And then they announced this huge 3D world, which... It's the 3D world art style. For a second, I was like, oh my gosh, you can lay out 3D levels. No, 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 no. You can lay out 2D levels with 3D assets playing a sort of 2.5D video game like we've seen a lot, but it's still a side-scrolling video game. Um, but it does give you a lot of options. It looks like it doesn't have to be auto-scrolling, and I don't know if that's with the regular creation tools or not, but in the 3D levels, they showcased a lot of, like, oh, you got to kind of jump over here and then walk back here and thinking the levels aren't just scrolling the entire time. So that's really cool. They have Course World. I know that this was something in Mario Maker 1 where you could go online and download courses made by other people and play them whenever you want. This one has, you know, you can leave little tips in the level, Dark Souls, Dark Souls style, but like 2D. So you can be jumping and it'll be like, difficult section ahead. And that's pretty cool. Um... There's maker profile, so if you are, you can get maker profile points if you make a course and a bunch of people like it. There's an endless challenge, so you can set a difficulty level and it's just gonna give you a ton of different levels and you try to see as far as you can get and then you get on a global leaderboard. Um, then there's network play for online multiplayer, which playing online with random people in my Mario game, not really for me, but I'm gonna try it just to say that I did. The versus mode where you race to see who can be the first one to beat the level, or there's a co-op mode where you're all trying to beat the level together and whenever one person beats the level, y'all make it. Um, the coolest thing about this is that you can create a virtual room. So if you're in a room with other people that actually have a switch, you can create your own virtual room and then you're the only one, only one of the people, uh, the person that created the virtual room needs an internet connection. Then the other people can jump into your game. And you can all jam together, which is pretty badass. Then. Coming out June 28th, we already knew that, but just wanted to put that out there. Now this is where they drop some really interesting stuff. Uh, Pre-purchase promos. So it's, if you buy it with a year of your Nintendo Switch Online, then it's, which it's 20 bucks for a year of Nintendo Switch Online, but if you buy it with Super Mario Maker, it's only 69.99, so you're saving 10 bucks. Um, and this stacks if you already have a Nintendo Switch Online, which, I do, that's a pretty good deal. Or they have these new game vouchers. You get two for a hundred bucks or 99, 99, 100 bucks. And each game voucher is good for a first party Nintendo title. So they showed like Mario Kart, Super Mario Maker 2, Super Smash Brothers. So you can save $20 if you haven't bought some of these first party games, which if you have a Switch and you haven't bought these games, what are you doing? Get these games. But if you haven't, this is a great deal and you can save 20 bucks. Um, very last bit of news, the Super Mario Maker 2 Invitational 2019, which is gonna be in LA, it looks like. 
And I looked on the website and it said it is an event where invited players play levels that were created by Nintendo's Treehouse. And this is going to be on June 8th. So it looks like it's going to be uh, on their YouTube channel. So you can check it out. Damn, that's a lot of Nintendo news. Um, basically, the vibes that you get from this direct is... Wow, they certainly have added a lot of new content and new tools for people to create some amazing levels in Super Mario Maker 2. I'm already getting this game because of the endless amount of Super Mario Brothers content. And the fact that you can play with all the different... I never played Super Mario Maker 1, so to be able to play like, oh, I can play something that looks like Super Mario Brothers 1, now 2, now 3, now new, or... Whatever, whatever you want, you know? They just have so many different options. It's just gonna be a sh ton of Super Mario levels, which I'm super down with. So, that being said, let me know in the comments what you thought about the Direct. If you're gonna get this game, I imagine if you have a Switch and you're at the nerd level that you're watching daily video game news, you're gonna get Super Mario Maker 2 because, like I said, it's just a slew of Mario, which everybody, everybody digs. It's... I don't know who doesn't like it. But if you don't, leave it down in the comments and we can talk about it. Um, that's all that I have today, May 15th, 2019. This is my first Nintendo Direct recap. The next Nintendo Direct will be June 11th, E3, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to live stream that yet, but you'll definitely get a recap if I can't. Um, if you enjoyed this video, as always, subscribe. And this is something I'm really asking for. Please tell a friend about the daily news because I'm really trying to get more views. That rhyme just kind of happened. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so subscribe. Leave a comment. That really helps with me getting more views. Like the video. That'd be amazing. I mean, if you like it. If you don't like it, you can dislike it if you want to. But, you know, leave a message down in the comments. And maybe we can talk it out. We can work towards We can work towards that thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this thing together. Uh, that's it. So tune in tomorrow for another episode of Flannel Fox Daily News. As always, I'm the Flannel Fox Tim Swernick saying... Sorry for the snap dance. See you next time, gamers.